Well, if you're looking to uh, build an aircraft for X-Plane, then uh, hopefully the coming videos will be of some help. So, other than research, which you certainly should do first, once you've got all that research done, we're going to start by first going into our aircraft folder. And uh, I've got my own folder that I put my projects in, so I'm going to go there. I'm going to make a new folder. And this I'm going to name after the airplane I'm going to build. And then inside that folder, we're going to want a couple more folders. We're going to want... Uh, let's see, cockpit. We're also going to want a objects. Um, and for now, we'll leave it at that. And we will jump in to Plane Maker. So, plane maker is necessary whether you want a pretty airplane, an X plane, or an ugly one. You still need plane maker because plane maker is your uh, flight model. Every, if you want it to fly, it needs to be built in plane maker. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is go to save as, and I'm going to create my ACF which is going to live in that folder that we just created. Give it a name. And I'll just call it Sportsman. We're going to save it. It's going to warn you that what you've got now doesn't fly. That's okay. Okay, so we're also going to need any of your research. And my research for this airplane is right here. And this is what I want to open. Okay. So we're going to do start here at the standard tab and we're just going to work our way down this tab. Pop in the author, what do we want it to look like when you're when you're searching for it in X-Plane. Um, you can give it a tail number if you like. If you plan on actually flying it, then you want it to support user flight. If you're building it just simply to be an AI airplane, then you would select this. And if you wanted to do both, you'd select both. Um, that code is where are we got right there. Aircraft author. Um, and then this aircraft is an experimental, so I'm gonna. Put it as that, and I imagine, oh look at that, glass areas in there, so we're going to put our manufacturer, okay, and that's that for that tab. Next down to our viewport, here is where a lot of your information you found is going to go. Um, Let's see, I know I've got information in here. G limits, let's see, we've got G limits at plus 3.8, 3.8, a negative G limit of negative 1.5. I won't let you go negative, it's already in the negative position, so 1.5. All right. We want our max speed of one, what have I got here? Let me 
1.67. Now, keep in mind right here what units you're using. Uh, this is an experimental airplane, and it's going to be all set up under mile per hour, so I'm going to do it under mile per hour. So then we've got 167. Uh, let's see. What else do we want to set up here? For now, general aviation cockpit is fine. Um, our stall speed is going to be 48 miles per hour with flaps all the way down, and that is what we want right here. So we're going to put that in here. I believe with flaps retracted now I don't know that I have that number so I'll have to do a little bit more research on that and uh, this is the speed to uh, allow for extending the flaps now uh, off the top of my head I want to say that's like uh, 90 just going to kind of have to throw that in there and I'll come back and fix that later. And uh, allowable for flying and turbulent air. I don't know that there is anything specific for that, so we're going to set it at that for now. Um, let's see, anything else we want to adjust at the moment? No, so at the moment I think we'll leave that all as is. I'm going to just do a quick save. It's going to still complain, but that's okay. We're just saving the work we've done. And... So let's continue on. We're going to... Uh, now we're going to skip on down to get this thing somewhat flyable real quick. So we're going to jump down here to our engine specs. Uh, my engine I'm going to use for this is the IO390. And let's see, I know I've got a horsepower on here somewhere. It's 210. So prop engine specs right in here. Max power is going to be 2. Oops, 10, 210 horsepower. Um, let's see, it's no uh, throttle control, no FADEC. Props do not feather. Um, red line on this engine is 2,000 and what was it? we're getting that so we're gonna put this put our red line at 28 um, top of our green arc is gonna be 27 because that's where uh, once your horsepower max horsepower output bottom of the green arc uh, we don't want to be idling we really don't want to go under a thousand if I remember right. Engine should be idling about 900, maybe even 800, but I'll have to double check on that because I don't think I have that information yet. Um, prop mass ratio to solid aluminum. The prop that I plan on using is going to be aluminum, so I'm going to leave that as is. Um, Location, we're going to work on that once uh, we get our fuselage built, but we're going to have one engine. It is an injected reset. Prop is a constant 
RPM prop. It's going to be two blades. And uh, all of this we will adjust when we uh, get to that position. Prop radius, though, I believe it's 72 inch. Let me make sure I got that right. Prop right there, 74 inch. Um, and it wants the radius. So uh, let's see, do that quick in my head. It's going to be 35, 36, 37. It's not 37 feet like I just wrote there. I have to actually get out a calculator because it's going to be 37 inches, and I just can't do that quick on the fly in my head. Three point zero eight, according to my calculator here. Um, root and tip cord, I don't know that either, but, uh, we'll bump it up to, uh, something like that for now and will be adjusted later. Um, fine and coarse pitch, now I do have that, low pitch is 14. Course is 31. Props designed to be spinning at 27, I believe. And we're looking at about 130 ish. I'll have to double check on that number. That's a guess at the moment. And it's one to one with the engine. Uh, transmission losses and all that we will get to later. Um, specific fuel consumption, we, this right here we will just adjust very last. Once uh, once we've got all the rest of the flight model and everything um, performing the way we want, then we'll come back here and we'll adjust our fuel flow to match everything else. Because if you adjust it now and then uh, tweak your drag or tweak the wings or something, all of this gets thrown out of whack. Um, so yeah, we'll come back to all that later, but at the moment we should have, as long as I didn't miss anything, we should have a uh, usable engine. Go ahead and hit save again. It's still upset, but that's okay. And uh, continue on systems this is all pretty uh, straightforward select whether or not it's got um, all of your autopilot stuff and uh, whatever um, I haven't actually looked into what specific system I'm gonna put in here so I'm not gonna do anything about that but we are gonna jump over to battery because I have a specific battery it chose, and it's going to give us, if I remember where I put it, battery, 32 amp hours, and if I remember right, we get that by watt hours equals amp hours multiplied by voltage. I think it's going to come out to like 380 or something like that. Um, so let's look at that. We're going to go 32 amp hours multiplied by the 12 volt system, 384. designed RPM you know I don't uh, I didn't find that information yet either so I'm gonna leave that alone airplane does not have an APU doesn't have a rat 
Um, it's going to be a one bus airplane, one battery. Battery one goes to bus one. Uh, number of generators, that's your alternator right there. So we're going to leave that at one. And that goes to bus one. Okay. Getting on to wings. Let me double check my timer here. I want to attempt to not uh, make these videos too terribly long. We're just over 15 minutes, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and save this and we will continue in uh, the next video.